Hey guys, today is Sunday, September 12th, 2021. And I want to talk about September 17th and why I see it as a high watch date. So this image right here is rapper Lil Nas X, who looks like he's about to give birth. And he even says, surprise, I can't believe I'm finally announcing this. My little bundle of joy, Montero, is due September 17th, 2021. So his actual name is Montero, but that's also the name of his album that's going to be released on September 17th. So very interesting that he's talking about his album like it's a baby about to be born. Um, seems to me it's like a ritual because we saw a birthing ritual recently when Richard Branson went up in a virgin rocket followed by Jeff Bezos going up in a penis shaped rocket. And it's interesting that they would have Lil Nas do this birthing ritual who also released the Satan shoes. And there were 666 pair that were sold. So his real name is Montero Lamar Hill, born on April 9th, 1999. Uh, ignore this age 22, that was for something different. But he's releasing this, the 666 pairs of Satan shoes. Look at the year he's born in this upside down 666. Even the date that he was born on, it's the 99th day of the year. 266 days remaining. A 9 is just basically an upside down 6. So each pair of these shoes are black and features a bronze pentagram in the laces. An inverted cross while on the sides of the shoes is a reference to the biblical passage, Luke 10.18. The shoes are also apparently made with 60 cc of ink in one drop of human blood. This is Prince Philip, and he died also on Lil Nas's 22nd birthday. I think there's some kind of connection here, as he died at the age of 99 on the 99th day. Again, upside down sixes. Um, and he also said, in the event that I'm reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus to contribute something to solving overpopulation. And that brings me to the symbol for Delta. And so you know that they're all talking about the Delta variant. And the symbol is a triangle, which is 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. You can omit zeros in numerology, and you're left with three sixes. We also had HR 6666, uh, which was COVID testing, reaching, and contact tracing. Uh, it was a bill that was introduced. It hasn't been voted on yet. But. Also, 666 days prior to the pandemic declared, there was a pandemic exercise, Claude X exercise. Uh, John Hopkins Center for Health Security hosted the Claude X pandemic tabletop exercise on May 15th. 2018 in Washington, D.C. The purpose of the exercise was to illustrate high-level strategic decisions and policies that the United States and the world will need to pursue in order to prevent a pandemic or diminish its consequences should prevention fail. So another 666. We had the FDA approving the Pfizer jab, which was 66 days prior to Bill Gates's 66th birthday. Bill Gates has a, he owns a lot of Pfizer stock, I know that. And it's also interesting that a jab contains luciferase. Another triple six connection was when Biden gave his speech on a six point plan to fight the Delta variant. That was on 9-9, September 9th. You add them together, you invert the nines, you have three sixes. And of course, the iPad, I mean the goat from iPad Goat 2, the head has three sixes on it. 
the goat is in a concentration camp. Um, the current, the virus, if it, whatever, if we have some kind of more dangerous variant, I can see things excelling and possibly, who knows, leading to this. So I looked at the men who stare at goats and I found it interesting that the Paris attacks which 137 people died and the terror attacks were six years 66 days apart so this film released on September 9th 2009 and just recently they had the Paris attack trial beginning on the anniversary of this film releasing 12 years later, 6 plus 6. So there's some kind of connection here. And so June 14th, 2022, next year, Flag Day in the U.S., will be 666 weeks after this film was released. Now, I don't know if anything will occur on this date, but it's uh, worth looking at. So. so back to September 17th. The date that Montero will be born or released, um, I found some interesting connections that they had here. So, this date is also 30 months, 22 days, 322 code prior to the total solar eclipse over the United States. As you know, I always look at that 322 or 911 code. And I first started looking at that when I saw how 911 connected to four all four total solar eclipses over the United States from 1918 to 2024 with a 322 or 911 code and so we have that connection there it's also 3202 days apart from the the release date of IPET goat 2 with the dates reversed and dates reverse as I explained before in other videos is if you were to take this date 624 put it over here and put the 917 over here so I have some interesting connections with maybe a possible blackout because we have a 322 code here with the Department of Energy being founded it's also 11 years 119 days after US Cyber Command was founded I also made a video in the past showing previous blackouts connecting to the founding date of U.S. Cyber Command with a 9-11 code. Now in addition, this makes it more interesting because we have the, the birth of Thomas Edison having a 9-11 code with 917, as well as the death of Thomas Edison. And the word blackout equals 22 in full reduction gematria. And if you add up the single digits of 917-2021, it does equal 22 as well. And we have another triple six connection because you can omit, omit zeros and flip numbers in numerology and would have 666, 6,609 days from the Northeast blackout in 2003. And look at this connection. 111,119 days after the first Masonic Lodge opened in 1717. So as I made a video about the number 11, these guys really like their number 11. And it's 111 on the Hebrew calendar and 811 on the Chinese calendar. So we do have a grid uh, exercise this year, GridX. It says a, a distributed play grid exercise that allows participants to engage remotely simulates a cyber and physical attack on the North American electricity grid and in other critical infrastructure. So this doesn't happen until November 16th, November 17th. So whatever, if anything, occurs uh, affecting our grid on 
uh, September 17th. I'm saying it's probably not going to be their their biggest event because they always have the exercise first. So, but this is the fifth exercise they're going to be doing. So maybe it's the last one. But they'll get this exercise in before a bigger event happens uh, with the grid going down. That's my take on it. So, um, and I wanted to talk about something else um, that relates to birthing r rituals. Uh, right here is the list of the named storms of 2021. Right now, as of today, Nicholas, Tropical Storm Nicholas just appeared. Then we have Odette. But this, these two really caught my eye, Peter and Rose, because they can both be um, symbolic of the male and female genitalia. Peter for a man and Rose for a woman. So roses are often symbolic of female genitalia, and the ancient Greeks and Romans associated them with their goddesses of love, Venus and Aphrodite, respectively. But the rose is also said to be to have bloomed from the blood of crucified Christ when heavy crimson drops fell on the parched ground, symbolizing death and sacrifice. And we see an iPad go to Lily with the rose in her hair. And also on November twentieth, Biden's birthday, 1986. President Ronald Reagan declared the rose the national flower of the, of the U.S. in a special ceremony in the White House Rose Garden. The New York State flower is also the rose. So I'm really wondering what's going to occur with these storms, Peter and Rose since it might be again another birthing ritual what happens if these storms collided uh, it's called the Fujiwara effect the Fujiwara effect um, is a phenomenon that occurs when nearby cyclone vortices move around each other in close distance between the circulations of their corresponding low pressure areas. The effect is named after uh, whoever, Mr. Fujiwara, Fujiwara, the Japanese meteorologist who initially described the effect. Binary interaction of smaller circulation can cause the development of a larger cyclone or cause the two cyclones to merge into one. Now I hear that that's more common in the Pacific, but very rare in the Atlantic. It would kind of make sense for two storms to merge into one uh, with uh, Peter and Rose, if it has to do with the birthing ritual. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. That's speculation, but I'm interested to find out what happens. Uh, so the next storm would be Odette. Then after that would be Peter. So I guess, um, yeah, that's about it for this video and just wanted to share this information with you guys and I will talk to you soon next time. Take care.